learning more details tonight about what's next for Buffalo schools now that Superintendent Dr. Pamela Brown is out. Last night, the school board approved a buyout of her contract that'll cost more than $200,000. Brown is also getting a letter of recommendation and that has some board members pretty upset. News 4's Nalina Shapiro has this story. No. <laughs> Obviously, you know what my problem is, okay? Outspoken Buffalo School Board member Carl Palladino's problem is with this glowing recommendation letter for former superintendent Dr. Pamela Brown. It's been signed by the board president, Dr. Barbara Seals Nevergold, but Palladino claims she didn't actually write it. Guess who wrote the letter of recommendation? The superintendent and her lawyer wrote it. The interim superintendent was tight-lipped. I don't know anything about that. We haven't been able to confirm if Palladino's claims are true. In the copy of the letter we've obtained, it appears from the type signature the board president speaks highly of Dr. Brown's expertise and track record of success boosting graduation rates by eight percentage points. There's, there's a lot of misstatements, exaggerations, and, and improprieties. So He's got a problem with the letter, but no problem with the money Dr. Brown got. About $230,000, what she would have received if she stayed until the end of her contract a year from now, plus $2,000 to consult her replacement over the next two months. Will Carestis, who's been Buffalo's Chief of Student Support Services for the past seven years, will now serve as interim superintendent until the new majority of the board picks an interim superintendent sometime next month. I have nothing but respect for Dr. Brown. Uh, I wish her very well, and I really believe that uh, there are a lot of success, successes for her here in Buffalo. Nalina Shapiro, News 4.